My name is Joe. My call is Victor Echo One Bravo Whiskey Victor. What uh, you're looking at this morning is a uh, Ubitex transceiver with a color touch control display. The coding and everything else is done by VU2SPF, VU2 Sierra Papa Foxtrot SP in India, and uh, myself helping uh, VU1BWV. So this is a quick update. This is version 2.9 Bravo Uniform. What you have here is the, the UBX and a, uh, a box that I had uh, kicking around the shack. And this is the touch control. Basically, uh, every button uh, that you see here can be uh, either a touch control or it can be a physical button, depending on what your requirements are or what your preferences are. So let's look at the top left. We have three uh, VFOs, Alpha, Bravo, and Memory, and you can see that changing right here. We have 100 memory channels. There's two, and there's 100. You have touch control for the receiver transmit. Just by touching it, you go into the transmit. And uh, let me look here. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the VFOA right now is the current one. And the Bravo is down below, and what's in memory is here. You have VFO, selecting the bands, band select here. You can see it goes down or up. Um, you have your, your band uh, selection here as far as where your width goes. Up or down. You know, what intervals that you want to, uh, to cycle through the frequencies. Put that 100, lower upper sideband, um, VFOs that you can put into memory. This is your BFO1 and BFO2. Uh, this is a transmit control. So if when you're in transmit, if you leave it longer than, I think we've got it set for one minute, um, the uh, transmitter will shut off. You can bypass it just by holding it down and that bypass that feature. It's just in case you inadvertently left it on too long, at least it would shut itself down. We have a save function here for um, saving off your, your memory channels. And we have a split function. The latest that's been added uh, internally as well is, of course, some updates and everything else. Uh, it's now full cat control. And uh, so it works very well with the uh, WSJTX uh, 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 version 3, I think. Yes, that's what we're running right now. So you can see right here that uh, the front area of the rig, I'll uh, just move it back a little bit, probably hear a little bit of noise there, um, is very minimal. Since the touch control really does it all, everything else is kind of superfluous except for the, uh, the volume control over here to the, to the right. I have a VFO control here, and uh, it's also a band select. Um, right here is your band. But again, as I mentioned before, these are really uh, not required. It's just a case of your, your preference here. So I'll turn this back to, to 40. There she goes. We also uh, just added um, some scanning function here. And that's still being worked on, but it's, it's working as far as it goes up or down. So anyway, you hit the up and she'll scan, um, depending on what you've selected here. Uh, this will scan at a 1 kilohertz rate. You can see it, and um, you can stop at any time, and you can hit that to go down. Uh, there we go, and I'll just stop it there. So let's go to the memory channels, um, see what I have around this morning. The band's very quiet, um, so let's just look around here. Yeah, quiet with a lot of noise. You see me cycling through the band or the memory channels. Just depend what I've, I've dialed in, saved. That, of course, is FT8. Let me just do something here. Turn this down here a bit. Sorry about the hand there. 
I've got this hooked up right now uh, to uh, the WSJTX program. So you can see it right there. And uh, if you listen in the background, I'm switching to the uh, other band and it's automatically switching the radio so the cat's working fine. So let's go to the 40 meter. It's 40 meter. Let's go to the 20 meter. It's 20 meter right now. So I'll swing it back here. And uh, this is a rig. I'm just going to turn this down here. This is a look at the, uh, the rig in the case uh, that I put in. It was, a, was an old APC charger type case. So I just tore it apart and um, put the cabling and stuff for the uh, digital stuff in the back and a large heat sink. Uh, and with that heat sink, I can run it uh, 24 hours a day and transmit it, uh, you know, all the FT8 and it never even gets warm. So obviously uh, overkill, but that's, uh, I guess that's a good thing. And so there you see the front of it, as I mentioned here, it's, it's the volume control, VFO, band, all completely optional. So let's just uh, have a quick look here. Sorry for the bouncing around. Um, I'll just try to move here a little bit, get a little bit closer so that you can get the color here. It's quite a nice display. Um, lots of color, of course. And uh, the, the touch is very sensitive. I can just use my fingers, as you can see here, or you can use the, uh, the button here. So uh, let's just um, go to 40 meters and see if uh, What's on here? Let me go here, 20, 40, and let's go to say uh, 255. I can either scan like that, uh, stop it at any time just by hitting left or right here, and you can tune by going left or right uh, as well as the VFO. So let me just go up here, around 255. See if the the net's open right now. It's 11:03 uh, in the morning here in the East Coast. Okay, so let's go back here and bring this up to 55. And let's see if there's anybody on there. Yeah, there's somebody in the background there, but quite low. So I'll put that in the memory. See the memory now says 1400? I'm just going to put that in there. So if I go up the memory now, you can see that that's uh, what's there. So I go back to the other VFOs. Um, yeah, the band is really low here at the moment. Let's see if someone else checking in is stronger. Gives very good audio. A closer look at the uh, display. I'll turn it down just for a second here. The uh, interesting part about this is uh, it's kind of like what you see, what you get. You don't have to worry about going in any uh, submenus and getting lost, even though we may add a submenu in the future. Uh, but basically, um, uh, everything is in front of you. You don't have to learn anything as far as uh, operation goes. It's quite self explanatory. You push the button and it uh, typically does what you want to do. Push the VFO and the VFO moves. Uh, hit the left hand side of the dial and she dials up or down. Hit the scan and uh, hold it for a second and she'll scan down. Stop at any time by pushing inside the, uh, the VFO area or go up. And uh, all these work the same. This is the BFO. The BFO, the nice thing about that is that you can tune those and it affects both the transmit quality of the audio uh, or the audio quality and um, so you can tune them up or down uh, to what you like to, to hear and also um, by tuning this up or down you can uh, change how your audio sounds uh, when you transmit so it's very handy it's right there just push up or down and uh, just like you're doing a VFO except you're tuning your BFO here uh, there's an S meter at the bottom I don't have the S meter hooked up at the moment but uh, uh, that's another I guess project in the future here. I'm just going to swing back a little bit there. Hopefully you get a little bit better look. Uh, uh, even though the color fades out of course because of the uh, the camera. I go to an angle. You can see again it's uh, about a foot long. About eight inches wide. Uh, approximately. 
and uh, it's a very uh, solid heavy metal type case there. So anyway, let's go back to VFOB where I left the uh, be right here. I was hoping to be stronger signals, but nothing at the moment there. Anyway, this is uh, again the uh, the U bit X transceiver, the all band transceiver. It's a kit form type thing, and you uh, put it together with uh, whatever type of case that you want. Uh, it normally comes with an LCD type display, uh, which would be something like this. That's what it normally comes with. And then uh, that this is a bit X 40, that's the 40 band version. This is another one I've built, which is the 40 band version, but it has a color display. And now every time that we've built the new rigs, uh, we've gone and put the color touch display in. And it's a bit X40 as well, put into an old type case. You can see it there, a slant case with a color touch display. And then we move down to the current uh, U-bit X with the, uh, the same color display uh, with, uh, again, more options and that stuff with full cat control. And, and split functions and that sort of stuff. So there you have it, a quick overview of uh, the version 2.9 BU. Uh, if you uh, go to ubitx.net uh, and type in either VU1BWV or VU2SPF, you'll also get some more information on uh, uh, the project. Have a great day from the East Coast. V1BWV uh, clear. Seven threes.